Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna be generating sounds using MIDI. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It's a standard that came, uh, came out around the 80s, um, and it's basically is a serial interface, and it's a way to transfer the uh, keyboard key presses to a synthesizer, just, just for example. Now, since then, a lot has changed, but the MIDI standard is still uh, the same, it still uses the same baud rate, it's still the same MIDI interface, the same uh, commands as, we, as before. Uh, I'm not exactly the expert when it comes to music, this is like the a little bit of the, the basics I know uh, when it comes to MIDI. So what we are going to specifically be talking about today is this shield by SparkFun, which is, it's called the uh, Musical Instrument Shield. And it has this chip on it that is, the chip uh, part number is VS1053. I think the company is VLSI, the company uh, that cr make this chip. This chip is a, uh, a chip that can it helps you decode MP3, MIDI, uh, all kind of digital formats. So you can simply send it um, like a MIDI file and it will automatically decode it and play the music. You can send it an MP3 file, same way it will decode it and play the MP3 audio. Now, there's an added feature on this chip where there are a couple pins that if they are configured in a certain way, the chip just becomes simply a synthesizer. You send it the serial commands and it will be reading, it will be accepting those serial commands and playing them out on the output. And in this case, I have it connected to uh, a little computer speakers. The drivers are extremely simple. It's just the serial port and you're, remember this is, from the 80s, so it's it's really really basic. It's a serial port, and there are a couple of commands that you send on the, on the uh, on the serial bus. I the code was like about 20, 30 lines of code. I got it directly from SparkFun. I changed it so it's running on uh, Tiny CLR. It's in C sharp, and uh, I can simply play audio. And this is the the exact demo that was provided by SparkFun. And it goes through a loop first, plays a few drum sets, and later on changes to um, playing different instruments. Now another example for um, when it comes to MIDI or what we can do with this is I was thinking of using the brain pad. So maybe the next tech talk or in the future I will do a tech talk on using a brain pad, maybe connecting, um, um, maybe I can sense maybe fruits and like bananas and we can use the bananas to play drums. That would be a really fun example, especially if you are in a classroom working with kids. I think this would be a terrific example. And uh, I want to mention two things in this video. First of all, this video is dedicated to Pete Brown, who is our MIDI hero in our community. He's all about MIDI and, and audio and synth synthesizers. And I'm sure I've said a few wrong things in this video and he is going to email me and tell me, correct me. Please go ahead, feel welcome to correct anything I might have said wrong when it comes to MIDI. And also another thing I would like to bring up in this um, video is that over here, this green circuit that we have under the, uh, the, the shield, it's a pretty cool new board that's, uh, that we are working on right here. Beautiful, isn't it? How's that for a teaser? We'll see you next week.